also to my right. Oh, y'all know it. It's too late. We're together now. It is too late now. Y'all, it, it, it's almost a done deal for you. I know some of y'all might get upset. Said, no, them two niggas can't get together. Oh, no, Lord, it's Jesus Christ. Y'all that don't believe in God, you're probably screaming for God now. This is the real man of steel, Brother Harvey Superboy. There we go. All right. Yeah. And, uh, no room. come on in here. And my assistant minister, Andre, he don't want to, even know he needs to sit in here and be quiet. There. And brother, my assistant minister, there you go. This, this room is sort of crowded. Y'all have to forgive us a little bit, but pay attention. We got a lot of information for you. And, uh, and uh, we hope that this hour, maybe perhaps hour and a half, becomes very informative. And what is more important is that y'all see this power and this strength here. And when you hear these voice, brothers, these, these voices, these brothers talk, oh, man. Woo! So, you know, if you're looking at this on video, which chances are y'all? Because, I mean, we live. I'm going to have to put this down on YouTube or Daily Motion somewhere. You know, before you get started, get your popcorn, soda, whatever, or your beer. You know, some of y'all do that like that. And then uh, we're going to have a nice conversation here. Uh, we're not going to be talking about uh, chasing women. We're not going to be talking about getting the hit off the old weed. We're going to be talking about those issues which pertain to us, which makes us which makes to help our community and we as an individual improve ourselves. Now, I don't really know. We really don't have a subject matter. We're just going to talk, but I just wanted to kick the, kick the conversation off uh, with Brother, Super, uh, uh, Brother Harvey Superboy and myself. And, and, and Randy, he's going to come in too, but we're going to kick this off with uh, a subject that's, that's near and dear to the YouTube community. And uh, myself and, and brother, brother Harvey, I would like for the friends and the subscribers of the Realities Temple, Angel Stuff Number Seven, and the subscribers and the friends of Harvey Superboy, y'all know we're in trouble on YouTube. And the reason why they do not want our voices on YouTube, well, you you guys already know, so I really don't have to explain. It. But we need your help to stay alive until we get stronger. We need y'all to mirror our video. We need y'all to set up channels just for us and put these videos out there. We need to put out as many channels and videos as possible so these false flaggers, if they want a false flag, make them work. Make them work 24 hours a day. Show them that they will not, this little kitty action, this cowardly, trashy action that they do, is futile. It's not going to mean nothing. Every time, matter of fact, what you're going to do is make it worse for yourself. Because every time you turn around, there's my pretty face. There's Harvey's face. You said, it's too many of us. This flag, y'all. I want, I want to run the knuckles off your hand. That's the way we need to do it. So brothers and sisters, friends and associates, those of you who know that we are not haters, that we are not racist, and all these old crazy things that they said that we are. We are just brothers. That come together, and there are also sisters out there whose channels getting flagged. We are just people coming together, trying to talk with one another, so that we can attempt to solve the problems in our community and become better individuals ourselves. Because that's where it starts. Matter of fact, if you don't become a better individual, we can't have no effect in, effect in this anyway. You have to become a better person in general, and we can then that 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 rolls off into the community at wide. But uh, we're gonna, I'm going to kick this off. If Brother Harvey want to talk about this particular issue or anything that he chooses, and we're going to go around this room, and whenever any of y'all other brothers that, that's in the, that want to jump in the conversation or kick something off, you know, you just be glad to. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm tired as hell. I've been here, but I've been enjoying myself. So y'all sit back, relax, I'll do it with you. And uh, we're going to kick this off with, with, with Brother Harvey Superboy. And thank you for... Uh, uh, coming to the rally this time. Thank you, brother. Um, first, I want to say thank you to those who supported me, supported yes, us. us. Let me let me say support us. When I started doing these uh, videos, it wasn't with malice or any financial motivation. It was doing it because for years I've seen our people be manipulated, whether it be in print, whether it be music, movies, or even in school. 
And what kicked it off for me that I had kept seeing stories where people who were white, and I'm going to say that they were racist, yes. because you lie on a black male or black woman when it comes to crimes, where we're basically lying, saying things about our people, and the reaction from the media and from the citizens were very visceral. Matter of fact, the very first video I ever did was about Becky Starro. If you don't remember who she was, she was the 26, I think 27 year old woman. She was deaf. And I want y'all to remember this part. She was deaf. She put ass on her face and yeah. said a fictitious black woman did it. The media, YouTube, and y'all, there's some videos still out here on YouTube about it, called black women with all kinds of derogatory names. And even some, and I, and I use this term loosely, brothers was joining in, piling in on it. Knowing that black women and black men for the last 40 years have been divided by outside forces. So when a sister heard a black man refer to a slut or bitch, all of us got lumped into that group. When I saw the reaction from Oprah Winfrey, because the sister was supposed to be on Oprah Winfrey show, but thank God some smart thinking white man said, wait a minute, if she had asked in the face, the very same thing I said in my video, why was her eyes damaged? I wear glasses. I know your face get wet. Water's going to get on your eyes at some point. Mm -hmm. It's going to get it. It's, it's no way around it. So what I did was I got off my butt and said, no, I got to speak to this because whether, whether we have issues with black men and black women, there was uh, people out there just berating our sisters. And from that day on, it started to flow. It just, it kept, com it just kept coming. And what happened was I started talking about politics because a lot of our people have been manipulated into voting one party. A lot of us have spent our money in, in unwise fashions. So I spoke about that. But after a while, and brother can tell you, I was barely getting 30 views on my, right. on my channel right. until I just kept pushing through. Then all of a sudden I started getting the hate from the tried and true races. You know the brothers and I, I'm gonna see. I keep saying brothers, right. and, yeah, but I, I refer to everybody like that. But the, those white men and women who don't want us to have a voice, that want us to stay in the slave masters, you know, they just sit in that type of uh, place where you need to know your know your place. You can't speak about anything. I was getting death threats, and I told brothers to support yeah. me, and they's like, "Oh, Harvey, you ain't getting no death threats," because at that time I didn't know enough about the video software. Right. And then after a while, I can't remember one of the YouTubers came and he said, "Why don't you invest in some of this video capture software?" And once I started doing it, a lot of those men and women was making those threats. They stopped. <laughs> but guess who took their place? Self-hating black men and black women, as I like to call handkerchief heads. A lot of these brothers and sisters want to become YouTube partners. So what they do, they change the tone of their videos. They start attacking one another because people love to see black people attack each other. It's like a, a sport to them. Mm -hmm. You see all the booty shaking videos up here. You see the fight videos. You see the uh, the uh, the, the uh, black men defending that white girl when she was calling us niggas and everything. People like that. Those videos are in the thousands, even in millions of hits. But brothers like us, we just speaking about the things we observe. Yes. I be probably got maybe 400, 600, 700 subscribers. That's too much. Mm -hmm. So after a while, brothers and sisters said, well, I want those subscribers, so how am I going to get them away from them? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go out there and make a dummy channel, or I'm going to say Harvey Superboy, or any other brothers out here like ourselves, or sisters talking about, say, he said something about black women. Knowing damn well that I never said anything black about black right. women. Then they might say, brother, Harvey don't like your channel, so he comes in, and then they want to go to this super pro-black stuff and don't even understand that you have to have a, a, a plan when you talk about overdoing the country or being a revolutionary. Yeah. So all of a sudden, everybody's jaw-jacking with each other, and I'm sitting back like, you guys don't understand. We're just becoming entertainment for the YouTube community. Yeah. But then when I go into a different direction and say, let me try a different way of speaking to y'all, then that's even worse. Yes. Yeah. Now, the other day, if you guys don't know, a brother, um, like I said, I use these terms loosely, and on the spot, we all know him as, what's that, uh, Painless. We know he made a series of videos attacking the Trayvon Martin, attacking other brothers and sisters. Matter of fact, he joined people who were racist in getting our videos false flagged or terminated. Well, I came across a video another uh, YouTuber had mirrored where he said he admitted he was cooning and buffooning. He was tap dancing. And one of my subscribers um, to my new channel said, you know, you should forgive him. I said, no, that's the problem with us as a people. 
Every time we do something stupid or dangerous to each other, we forgive them. Mm -hmm. That's why we can't advance because we keep giving people the room to keep making mistakes. Other communities, if somebody make a mistake like that, they kick them out. No white man is going to let another white man who defended blacks come huh. back into the community. He's done. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, he's just trash to him. When we do something, if somebody kill, rob, or whatever, come on back, brother. We pray for you. We're going to let you back into the fold. We talk about what the man is doing, but we're doing the stuff to ourselves. If you disagree with me, you have that right. But don't come to my channel, any other channel, cursing or making threats or making it personal. If you think I'm wrong, put a rebuttal video up. Right, make video make response. Make a video response. But when you don't put your image up, or you're not a consistent YouTube viewer, in my mind, you are a troll. Now, a lot of y'all hate when I say that, but let's that's, that's, that's look at it. Let's Some go, people... Let's go a little stronger than that. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs>